Astros. Welcome to the Wilders game. It is summertime. It's uh, July 3rd today, right? Mm -hmm. We just, we live in Canada. We just had Canada Day a couple of days ago, so. We did, and happy Canada, or sorry, happy uh, Independence Day to our American friends tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's mm -hmm. right. Tomorrow, Independence Day. So, uh, we're going to go around the table real quick here. We're going to say hi to everybody. I'm Dave Wildson. I'm the game master for this game. Uh, we play a uh, and d style game, um, but uh, we actually use a Pathfinder rule system for our game. Just for the sheets and the maps and stuff. Other than that, it's my own homebrew world, which is why it's called Wilder's Game. Let's go around to the left. Raven, are you ready? Here you are. Hi, I'm Glenn the Valley. I play Raven... Um... I, I, like I, like you. I would have got it. <laughs> I, I'm a wizard Eventually. with a bad memory. <laughs> Ooh, boing. Ooh. That's it. Okay, That's welcome. all I'm doing. Hi, I'm Josephine Smith. Uh, wait, I'm Amanda playing Josephine Smith. Uh, but Josephine Smith has somehow consumed my entire wall world, so I'm actually Josephine Smith at this point in time. Yeah. And I operate the Pew Pews. And. Gunslinger. The Whippity Whip. Whee! Whip Mistress. <laughs> On to my left. Okay, Lavinia. Hello there, everybody. My name is Janice, and I play the part of Lavinia Rose, who is a fortune teller, a healer, and remover of undead. Nice. I am Percival Redfeather. Hold on, uh, wait. Oh, sorry. Start again. There you go again. Try Percival again. Redfeather, also Robert Woodbury, and um, I play a ranger that is uh, enchanted wondrously and... Uh, Committed to being a friend of the uh, the wild ride, and also a weird tiger. So when I get, you don't want to see me angry. <laughs> okay, and Thaddeus. Hello, my name is Ian Little, and I'm playing the part of Thaddeus Poindexter, um, a traveling physician, and um, hopefully. Undoing damage caused by bullets and all that sort of nasty thing. An upright citizen. Absolutely. Nothing to see that could be strange or unusual here. There is nothing to see here. Don't don't question him about those stabby knives that he has. That oh, have I think more you are you are confusing usual. me with my ne'er do well cousin, uh, Mr. Beauregard Abernathy. Okay. Okay. So uh, basically, we're going to do a real quick. Recap. Actually, I'm gonna switch around wait, to. Wait, before we oh, do wait, that, you want to talk, Raven? Raven's gonna to talk to us about I, some stuff. Well, I was in New York uh, on a big balloon thing the other last two weeks, I'm and I went sure. to. Uh, I went. Yeah, it was a balloon show called the Balloon Story, and if you're in New York, I highly recommend it. It's very interesting. There's, uh, I think they had like six hundred thousand balloons or something inflated, and uh, it was a big show. But uh, How I also, fun. yeah, it was cool. And I went to a Broadway uh, show called uh, the 20 sided tavern. And to that thing, we got some stickers uh, to which I want to have one for our, our um, ranger who tends to go out and punch things. If you can read that. Some of us are better at punching and pummeling. <laughs> oh, that's for you. Oh, oh, thank you. Hey. Oh. And for this is another random thing. This is for our other ranger who ha needs a gun or a bullet <laughs> belt. Oh yeah! Oh my lord! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh gee! <laughs> hey, open it up! Open it up! I don't know if that's enough bullets. <laughs> I don't well, know. I don't know. Probably she, not. I think she can use as many bullets as you can get, right? That's... Unless I can make my own bullets, that's but yeah, Josephine uh... is the a gunslinger, and she also can make. But Custom ammo. She's learning how to do stuff. Oh, oh my god! My goodness! It's a bandolier. Look at that. It'd be very intimidating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. You go the way you want with it. That's good. You have to make a fashion you decision. Go. You know. Perfect. There you go. Here she is, Miss. You're welcome. Yep. Excellent. That's excellent. Wonderful. Okay. That's so uh, about ravens uh thing well glenn's about glenn's balloons look what i can do i'm actually organized enough 
today that if we go to the Skookum Adventure screen, we can bring up Facebook and we can show these are the balloons that Glenn was just talking about from New York. Wow. Oh, they look so good. Mm -hmm. Don't they look good? It's, there's, it's, oh, there's... Do, do people at home understand that those are all balloons? Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. aspect of that image is a balloon. Yeah, well, it was a big team effort, but, uh, you know, it was... I, I did a, quite a bit of the rigging and the there's mechanics that aren't shown on that static image. So the so, jaw actually goes up and down. There's oh, no wow. scale. So how big is that? Um, the nose is about six feet off the ground. My God. Mm. Wow. So yeah. taller than Rob. Oh, you yeah. can you mm. can tell a little bit of scale. If you look, you can see there are two stanchions in front of the left claw. And I'll bet you those stanchions be, you know, usual stanchions about four, three, three and a half, four feet high, right? Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Wow, that's huge. Okay, there's two more uh, slides here. Let's have a look at another one. Here's another one. This is a big gorilla, oh, looks wow. like. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a, his arm, his hand waves. Again, you can't see it in a static uh, image, but that's also a fun thing. Cool. And there's one more image and that is, oh, and this one is a video, isn't it? That one's a video. Yeah. Yeah. Because look at that. So who? Um, a bird and a rhino. All the pyrotechnics. Sorry, not not the pyro. The mechanical the stuff. Pyrotechnics? No, that's not fire. pyrotechnics. The, if they were on the, fire, the, they'd the, be the, animatronics. The, um, latex mechanics. Animatronics. No, I was thinking like hydrotechnics. I, what are they called? Automata. Pneumatica. Okay. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Who did that? Me. That you was did, you did all of that. I did those. Glenn, that's Glenn's expertise. That's all your designs. So you designed well, the designs themselves were um, part of a, another project mm -hmm. that the team leader gave us direction on what they wanted. So it was our responsibility to build them. And you made them move. I did three of them. Wow. Coolio, huh? Thank you. Coolio. Awesome. All right. So. Um, we're all a bunch of wonderful, talented people, and it's yeah. awesome to be able to show off some of our stuff. Party Journal is mostly up to date. Here's the big one. On the left side of the Party Journal, there are now 12 chapters of your adventure. And you can always click the title to open them or collapse them. And they have been improved most of them have got description and photos put in. For example, the not-so-great train robbery at the very beginning. Look, here we go. You've got the not-so-great train robbery, and it's got the, the whole thing about your crew and how to blow a heist. And <laughs> Percy Redfeather got shot in the ass by a hidden train guard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it goes on. Um, going to the gateway, all of these things. These pictures, you click them. And they will pop out and show you a full image. Oh, I miss that place. Remember? It's so see? pretty. Mm -hmm. So all of these chapters, most of them have got a banner at the beginning. When you went to the Anasi, remember the Desert Temple? Here we go. Improved picture of the Uncta Desert Temple, or Serpent Temple that you were at. So all of these chapters, all the way down. If you want to go, please, if you find a chapter that you want to add something to, you write it up and send it to me and I'll put it in. Because we've got stuff like Lady of the Marsh. Remember the nice woman you met yeah. in the Fen Marshes in the little hut? Yep. You went into her nice little <laughs> house and you were talking to her. And then, of course, as is typical in these kinds of games, she turned into an evil hag and we had a huge, massive fight, right? Yep. So I don't have any of that information written up here. So I, if somebody and has what, got her... What happened there? Oh, and then we had we to go We encountered the down. centipede things and we, there was... We had a, to go down yep. uh, and we, we scooped out all the water... Yep. to be able to go underground. Yes. Yeah. So I would like a description of that because I don't have time to do all of them and I've done as many as I can, okay? So what? Well, if you remember something and also if I have something wrong that you remember it a different way, let me know because, for example, when you guys were in Bimnus, okay? So you went to see Nereo. Here, I'm going to go back to the adventure screen for this. When you went to see Nereo uh, and it was Thaddeus's wedding, We've got the full full deal here. There was the ride on the whale. You saw the city of Bimnus. Uh, Nereo presented Thaddeus with his dowry. And then the next day was the merfolk wedding. And I got the whole deal here all laid out. Well, I can't remember 
The next chapter is Crab Wreck. I can't remember when Crab Wreck attacked. Was it before the wedding, during the wedding, after. or after? Crab Crab was, the morning was, after. after. It was, was it the morning before? after? It was definitely after. Yep. Okay, all right. Okay, so. We were thinking about riding the crab to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, all right. we were all trying to figure out how to get away from this. Right. Cap yes, 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 yeah. yes. Okay. And, um, we yeah, some clues. of us went underneath, some of us went up above, Rob, and right. we found and his soft spot. I went between spots. the shell and found a soft spot. So I wrote up a little blurb about it, but I was like writing, I'm thinking, am I just making this up now, or did we really play it this way? Mm -hmm. So I think I got it mostly correct. Anyways, there's the info about Crab Wreck. We've got actually Celestia's Veil in here, where you went back to the Hall of Fires and all of that. We've got the Surrounded by Fire stuff. Like this awesome new picture of Celestia's Veil Pinnacle. And we are all the way up to Way to the Fae. <clears throat> Verdant. Here, let me close this. Seeing the ship and Ver the, the, the floating sky city, the cloud city on mm -hmm. Verdantis. Um, meeting Monty. All I this is love in that Andy. picture so much. Good looking guy. Right. Uh, the Pixie Pyre, which I don't have a picture of um bye baby pixie ambush at the bridge you guys got ambushed at this bridge this was the two most recent sessions we played and we are now here at shallow creek mine and this is where we're going to pick up the game and play now um so here's the recap of where we're at and where we're starting gameplay uh you had discovered after you were ambushed by a group of uh six dwergar dwarves that there was a, a little crude map on one of them, and there was a list, a slave list, on another one, and it had three names on it. And you figure those are the people from the looted camp that have been taken as slaves. So Could you, you have... bring it up in the journal so we can see that list yeah. again? Do you... Can I? Yeah. Do you want to give me a controller? Uh, no, I gave it to Ian this time. Oh, well, Ian's, Ian's going to okay. try and practice today. And I've got one, too. Good. I'm you know what, actually, I'll off. give you mine for now if you want. No, yeah. it's, it's okay. No, I don't mind. I, <laughs> I can just be a pretty face. That just enjoy can. your stuff, and we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. And and we set up traps and tripwires for the uh, oncoming uh, assailants. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yep. so uh, the last thing we did before we logged off was right. to um, set up a tripwire on the right path and the main path. And, and we so we have the, the, the table map yeah. that is showing that, and I'm actually going to show and, it. And on you the got a gift too. from the gods. So they've entered yeah. this mine. They've taken the the little dwarf prisoner with them. <laughs> here is where we are at. Uh, you guys are all standing around right here in this little area. I'm going to close this so that we've got the actual thing. You guys are all standing around here. You've got the little dwarf guard dwarf in front of you, and you had set these trip wires and also your bridges trap there's a yep. little trip wire here there's yep. a little trip wire here yep. is this showing up on the screen behind me yes it is yeah it is okay so you've done that because this is a crossroads that you're at and you decided you were going to go to the left yes is that correct yes yes okay uh who's gonna go who's gonna lead the charge is gonna go exploring i'm, the I'm in front the first thing i'm going to do is stuff my handkerchief into the prisoner's mouth so he can't warn the others about the tripwire i think mm -hmm. you knocked him out we knocked him out oh, we oh yeah him. still okay. stick so, it in his mouth i'm still sticking him in his yeah, yeah. Mouth. Over your shoulder. He's, he's, he's my shoulder he's a little guy sorry yeah. i have a question have we rested since i left mm. no we've nope. had no rest <laughs> no just just really? don't worry we about have it. not. You have no spell chugging. slots, extra spell slots We back. tried to have a full rest and got interrupted halfway through. We got attacked. We got attacked. Okay. So That's right. You missed been the chugging. last two sessions, right? So you, were you around for the Dwergar ambush? Yes. He was there. Yeah. Where we you almost were, died on top you, of the rock. That's right. So yeah. from that point, no. Uh, that was in game time. That was five hours ago, right? But look, you were at nine, and now you're healed to twenty-eight. Excellent. Yeah. He just doesn't have his spell because, slots back. That's because, what Because uh, Lavinia the... and these gentlemen, yep. Lavinia casted heal, and these gentlemen gave Found us uh, bandages. However, well, I... I made the mistake of casting an area heal instead of a person-to-person -person heal, and ended up healing 
the dwarf. Who yeah, but so does it really matter? Are other people still injured? Mm. Who's got who's down on there? You hit can points? look at the party screen and it tells you. Oh, I guess I could. The party I'm, screen now shows you I'm everybody much and their the same health. As you. I'm at full health. Okay. I'm at 34. Well, I'm an alchemist and I have the ability to create on the fly healing potions. Mm. So Ooh. why don't we take and I can do nine of them total because I've already prepared two. So why I'm, don't we take I'm a moment? Two. And... Down. Yeah, I, I, everyone else is pretty much healed. It's just I think you it's mainly you. Right? You're, you're the only one who got close. Okay. Well, I want to heal myself first, if you don't mind. So Put your mask on first. Yeah. So if you go to the party screen and you click the overview, if you're on stash, click overview on the party screen, and right away it shows you everybody's health. Boom. And boom, needless boom, to say, boom, of boom, course, I did right? heals for you at the same time. So Excellent. this is how you can tell yeah, how everybody else is doing it. is from overview. Of, Sorry, how do how do you get to the party screen one more time? Bag of holding button. Okay, so I'm there. And then there's overview oh, tab and there's overview. stash tab. I see. Okay, thank you. There's also an exploration tab where we could have you list the activity that you were involved in, but that's ridiculous. I'm not going to do that stuff. We're going to just go with these two. Thank okay. goodness. So my armor class is not accurate on this display. <laughs> 15 yeah so just so you know why does it think you have 15 armor i don't know wonder but that's another thing so okay, i need to heal squishy. myself so i'm gonna use at least three of these potions what the hell has it got you listed that way for what happened okay so i'm healing myself here we go for a total of eight nine more and i think i'll probably do it again I am going to fix that man. Armor class. Yes. How many? Raven. How many so do you need three. still? Um, well, I'm I'm up to thirty-seven, but I'm going to keep healing myself with my alchemy. Yeah. And then you okay. can conserve your okay. spells. Thank you. I have one alchemy um, re reagent left, and my my Raven isn't on the board. And your raven isn't on the board. Uh, oh, let's no, talk about your raven. She couldn't see. She couldn't see it underground because we we thought about summoning her. She's got dark vision. Does she have? Dark she's vision? always summoned unless I unsummon her. But you weren't there to remind us. And dark vision oh. does not work in pitch black, and that's what this was. Dark oh. vision only works in dim light. So let's look at this, though. I want to show you. And is anybody cast light? Yes, the, we cast light on the dwarf. <laughs> on, his, on his shield. And something right, he's wearing. Uh, okay. Chest yeah. plate. Here is something that we want to thank. Uh, yeah, let me put it on me and I'll show you. Here's something that uh, Lavinia found and got. And we want to thank her very much. For, thank you, Lavinia. Thank, thank you, Lavinia. you, Lavinia. All right. Here, look at this little guy. This is Beautiful. a little raven. I'm going to see if I can get it up on the camera so you can all see. Here this is. is a little carved wow. raven. Wow. That we can use now as your raven My familiar Thank token, you. your familiar token for your and raven. Now we'll wait for the, yeah, wait for the other one. Thank you. Okay. All right. So there you go. Drama, right? Drama. Drama. If it doesn't, I will put a base we, on it. We if may it be putting a base up. on it because it falls over easily. If it falls over easy, I'll fix it with a base like the other one. Oh, it's on a skull too. That's so cool. Is that soapstone? I don't know. Uh, it, yeah, I think it might be it soapstone. Might be. It's very nice and Yes. polished little setup. That's pretty awesome. That's beautiful. Okay. I've been so, planning this for months. Nice. Yeah, yes, so you have good. Drama. Now, we. Oh. last time you were going to send Drama out to fly, but it was so dark that you didn't do it. I figured I'd let you deal with your raven to do what you want to do. Okay. So, uh, that's it. Oh, by the way, you asked about how to get to the party screen. The bag of holding button will do it, but so will P. Remember J for journal? P for party. Maybe. Please be P for party. It worked for me. It worked for me. Okay, I guess good. it works. So, J for journal, P for party, and oh, there's well, one more one C second. for character. Dave, would you mind? Hmm. What We've got I? a spammer. Oh, dear. Hey, interdepth. Whoever you are, go die in a fire. Um, Back off. Let's see if we can fix this. Mm 
I'm going to stop streaming on Kick until they provide uh, a way to block this stuff. Is it, this is Kick again? Because I don't know if it's Kick. The last time I think you said it was Kick. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is that I don't know how to. That's why I have a bot that does this stuff. I don't know how to. Yeah, because deal with on it. Twitch and YouTube we can get rid of it. So it all must, right. Well, we're gonna have to leave it there correct. until I can figure it out because I don't want to spend too much time sorting it out. Eventually, we will have moderators that help us out and do this for us, and they will just turf these out while we're in the middle of our thing. All right, fine. I'm gonna have to leave it for now until I can look at it maybe during break and figure it okay. out. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, so C for character. Right, we'll pop up your character screen for you. P for party and J for journal. All right, let's uh, decide who is going to go do what now. What do you guys want to do? He, uh, I think he wanted to go first. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to go right after you. I'm I'm the closest to the intersection. Okay. If you're going first, do you have the dwarf over your shoulder because nope. he's slunk out? I'm carrying the dwarf. So maybe you should go first, and he follows. Uh, you mean for the light? The light. Well, he could also, instead of using the dwarf, just pop a torch or something if he wants. You yeah, that works. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure everybody else doesn't have a condition that's debilitating them, but I think we fixed all and, of the And I problems. wanted to ask you, in-game, mm -hmm. to your character, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that Bear might help us in this? So you were here last week. Um, we found a scroll of retrieve past Com companion. companion. Yeah, summon past companion. A summon past companion. Oh, that's yeah. So um, as a group, we all kind of decided that maybe it would be a great thing to bring Bear back. What do you think about that? I don't like it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fine. I'm glad you got your Bear back. See, okay, she yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're she waiting. Oh, we're voting. It. We're waiting oh. for you to get here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, of course. You should get your companion back. What do you guys think? Is now a time? Now in, is in, perfect. In, in well, the darkness. Well, our foes we've are got... are running towards us as we speak. Yeah. We've got no time to bond, rebond, and it's it, been months. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Okay. Um. I guess we will try. It's so up to let you. Me... You so can me, do it now, or you can do it when you leave the let, mine. It's up to you. Well, if, if you, my my concern is for him, of course. Well, if and you, if we're I mean, in, for us potentially too, he is a wolf, <laughs> dire wolf. and he hasn't seen us in months. Yeah, you'll um, remember. You think so? Uh, are we in a combat at the moment? We're no. about to be. We're about to You're be there. Not in combat, but. <laughs> You, uh, we, we blocked off the one, dwarves, one no. way and the, the other way, no. and the dwarves are pretty much charging us. And they're not going to be expecting a wolf. So, you have, they have been alerted by the dwarf captive you have who shouted and alerted them that you were there. Before we You know them. that they are somewhere this direction on the map, okay? They're somewhere straight up, all right? You've heard rustling and clinking of armor and things like that from that direction. Um, you've not heard anything from the other two directions. And after they were alerted by the dwarf that you, uh, the dwergar that you have captive, whose name is Burgle, uh, Josephine knocked him out. <laughs> she no, smacked him. No. Um, oh, Percy smacked Percy, him. Somebody Percy smacked him. Percy conked him. Yeah. I, you, I suggested I it, and you totally, turned around and conked totally him. She totally just conked. smashed it. She she's totally like, conked him. I, suggest, right. uh, no, I suggested that you conk him, and you turned around and conked him. <laughs> okay. Okay, so oh, okay, you want then. to play a video game? Because I just watched it this afternoon. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. He's just being well, I guess we have it on video, so if she watched it, she knows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple of uh, ideas that just came to me. And they're going to come down this one path, right? We think. We think. Can we just hold on a second before, like, I, I know they are coming. Your ideas, but casting a spell from scroll requires holding the scroll in one hand and activating it with a cast a spell activity using the normal number of actions for that spell. Two. The spell must appear on your spell list, which it does. 
because you're the one casting the spell, use your spell attack modifier and spell DC. The spell also gains the appropriate trait for your tradition, arcane, divine, occult, or primal, which I'm neither. Any physical costs are provided when a scroll is created, so you do not need to provide them when casting from a scroll. If the scroll requires a locust, you must have that locust to cast the spell. It does not require a locust. Scroll. Can I just cast it yes. and say, hey, bear, come back to us, please? You can do exactly do, 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 do. that. Okay. So as you cast the spell for bear, all of a sudden a swirling portal opens in the wall right beside you, the giant stone wall of the dungeon. And there, coming through the portal, is... Hi, baby! baby. Uh, his what butt's beautiful just going. Boy. Oh, oh, he got decorated by the girls, <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> there. Uh, I don't know why it uh, didn't show up on the screen behind me. Maybe it's it only is. to tab. <clears throat> the girls decorated <laughs> him. <laughs> He's Here, pretty now. Bow. Oh, yeah, it's very sweet. So he sees all of you, and he's very excited and happy and surprised. And look at that. And he jumps up, and he comes through. Yay. As he scrambles, as he scrambles to come through, you realize that he is no longer the little bear that you are used to. And by the way, we're going to have another quick look and show you that there is also oh. a little so carved soapstone. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus in. A little carved soapstone. Bear, oh. once again, that little Vinia found and bought so that we could surprise you oh. with a bear as your companion. There is your companion to bring. Thank y'all. You can put it where you want. So. Oh, oh yeah, well. he's big compared to us, right? And you will notice that Bear, who is a dire wolf, a small dire wolf, is now a very, very big dire wolf. Nice. This means that I need to go to uh, the screen and under companions, I, I'll turn him on for... Where is he? Okay, so Bear will appear as a companion... Oh, no, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. I had him hidden in... Oh, oh, I know why I have him there. Bear is now in the mounts section of the companion folders because that's how big he is. He's big enough. You could him. ride him. Well, we could ride him. Well, maybe yep. two of us, but probably so you guys me. can all actually go see him now under your actors tab in the companion section and i'm going to give amanda control completely over him so that she can drag him out onto the table whenever she wants and do what she needs with him i'll drag him out for you this time so that he's here book <laughs> he's a little he's he's a little big on the on the screen oh my <laughs> I think we might have to make that a little bit small. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Let's make him the right size. There we go. Talk about that the was a little bit out of control. Yeah. All right. So his token is now the right size. <laughs> okay. So you have him. And if you guys want to, he's got like a biography and everything. If you want well, to you guys it. know, like I lost my husband and child. So Bear was the closest thing to a friend, to family, family yeah. since then. He was, he was my baby and um, losing him was heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh. So if Percy wants to, he has the ability to communicate with Bear and actually talk to him because of his beast speak. Yep. He can find out what Bear's been doing and where he is. Mm, Dave, mm -hmm. uh, you hit the timer for uh, at 47 minutes ago. At, at 47 minutes ago. It's for, complete. For half an hour. Yeah, well, it's definitely because you said it for half an hour. 756. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying because I just. You guys refreshed. want to break now? I um, just refreshed and I just saw it. Make it a quickie. 
Yeah, I need to go run into the washroom anyways. Okay, okay we're going to take a quick break. Sorry to the folks at home that we're, we're not running on the full steam yet, but we will be right after this break because we don't have anything else to do. Oh, we'll see you guys in, uh, right now it is 7.57 Mountain Standard Time. We're going to be back at 8.10 Mountain Standard Time, so 13 minutes. <laughs> 